Hey y'all, I'm Rebecca, and I like to call my style of cooking Tex-lectic because I love to travel and learn about new people, cultures, and of course, the food, and then bring it back to my friends and family, but add my own unique Texas twist. I'm 25 years old and I live in Dallas, Texas, or as we say, the big D. And right now I live at home and I don't know if you can see or not, but my mom and I are getting ready for a big Thanksgiving gathering at our house. Everybody's coming over. And I was in charge of the traditional green bean casserole, but I couldn't just make it the plain old way. I had to add my own unique twist. So here's what I did. First, I'm gonna start off with some bacon that I've cut into really small slices and I'm just going to crisp it in my iron skillet. I love that noise. <laughs> Last year, I, was, I lived in Italy for three months. We did a Thanksgiving, quote unquote, style dinner for the Italians. And one of the things that we made, one of the side dishes, was bacon wrapped green beans. And of course, bacon is not exactly easy to find in Italy. So we had to do some searching, but we found it. So now that my bacon is nice and crispy, I'm gonna take it out and put it in another bowl and just set it aside and let it chill for a second. Okay, now in all of this beautiful bacon grease, I'm gonna cook the rest of my vegetables. So I have some onion, some red bell pepper, and some mushrooms. Funny story, I actually didn't originally like to cook. I started cooking at a really young age. Growing up, we didn't have like a ton of money, and my mom homeschooled my brother and I. So as a way to have fun and then help teach us math and different things, she would teach us how to cook. When I got to college, I actually really discovered my love of cooking because I realized how it brought so many people together. Now, just gonna toss in my green beans, and these are fresh that I've already blanched, and blanching, it just means, you know, you take your vegetable, you put it into boiling water for a few seconds, take it out, and give it an ice bath, and basically all that does is stop the cooking process, and so your vegetables stay a vibrant color. Now I'm going to add my homemade cream of mushroom soup. I'm going to zest the lemon, add in my bacon, and that's it. We're done. Yay! I finished it off with some breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. I hope everyone likes it. Very good. How I love it? this. <laughs> you, that's my cheese for eating with my fingers. Mm, happy holidays. So y'all should pick me because I'm fun, I'm different, and I can cook. Rebecca's the next food